from ring invasions to thirsty fans and straight up crazy individuals. There's, who is this idiot? There's some fans. Are a problem there. It's no secret that the key to WWE's longevity is their connection to the audience. Few forms of entertainment are as interactive with their fans as the WWE, and audience participation is one of the best parts of professional wrestling. However, sometimes that passion can spill over a little bit. These are 15 times WWE fans went too far. Before we start our list, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you never miss another video from us. Now let's get on to it. Number 15, Fan Attacks Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw. Let's kick things off with a notorious incident in 2019 when a fan physically attacked Seth Rollins during Monday Night Raw. This shocking assault left everyone in disbelief and raised serious concerns about the superstar's safety. After wrestling Finn Balor, Seth was on a ramp with his back turned and he was blindsided by a guy who attacked him at full speed. To Rollins' credit, he managed to get a guillotine on the guy in self-defense, but it was still a scary situation. The WWE condemned the incident and expressed they take the safety of their performers very seriously with a statement. The individual who attacked Seth Rollins has been turned over to the NYPD and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Rollins later said everything happened very quickly and that he demanded the fan was banned for life from WWE shows. Form tackles me right there on the ramp and it was terrifying because I was, like I said, I'm not prepared. Number 14, Shawn Michaels versus John Cena, WrestleMania 23. The main event of WrestleMania 23 saw John Cena defend his WWE Championship against Shawn Michaels. Mr. WrestleMania and the champ were about to put on a clinic, but before the match started, a fan casually jumped over the barricade, took off his shirt, and entered the ring, while Edge BK sat on the turnbuckle and graciously waved goodbye. Cena on the other end is doing his best to pretend a random dude didn't just invade the ring during the main event of WrestleMania. What's funny about this is that Jerry Lawler was saying fans weren't going to sit still during the match two seconds before this happened. I mean, I don't think many of these fans are going to sit here and be complacent. Talk about timing. Number 13. Fan knocks Eddie Guerrero off the ladder. Typically, when a fan invades the ring, their actions have no real impact on the ongoing match, but that wasn't the case during the May 27, 2002 episode of Raw. During a ladder match for the Intercontinental title between the late Eddie Guerrero and Rob Van Dam, Eddie was climbing the ladder to retrieve the belt when a fan entered the ring and pushed the ladder from underneath him. The fan put up his fists preparing for a fight, but he was tackled from behind by the referee and then punched and kicked, courtesy of Latino Heat. Number 12. Fan attacks Bret Hart during Hall of Fame. The Hart Foundation was finally inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2019 and Natalia was by her uncle Bret Hart's side to accept this on her late father's behalf. In a crazy situation, a fan entered the ring and tackled a hitman. Natalia was holding on to her uncle, so she fell to the ground as well. Besides this being wrong in multiple levels, I'm not sure what he thought would happen after attacking a beloved Hall of Famer in an arena filled with wrestlers. They reacted quickly and grounded the heckler before security could take him away. And guys like like Harry Smith and Dash Wilder decided it was unpolite of him to leave without a souvenir. Shout out to Dash Wilder for punching that dude in the face. He deserved it. Number 11. Triple H saves Austin in Germany. In 1998, WWE was on a tour in Berlin, Germany, and Steve Austin wrestled Triple H with China at ringside. After he hit a stunner on both China and Triple H, he secured the victory with a pin. Immediately after, however, a fan jumped the barricade and rushed Austin. Triple H responded, Not on my watch, pal. Suplexed the fan and punched him several times, with referee Mike Chioda joining the party as well. Security then handled the situation and took him backstage. Austin talked about it on his podcast, saying, when you pay your money to come into that building, you've earned the right to voice your opinion. Cheer, boo, whatever. We expect that. But when someone crosses those rails or comes between those ropes, you're considered fair game. I always gave Triple H credit for doing that. Number 10. Fan arrests Sasha Banks. During their match at Clash of Champions 2019, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch were making their way back to the ring after brawling in the crowd. As Becky threw her over the barricade, a fan tried to touch Banks inappropriately twice. After the video went viral, Sasha tweeted, I'm suing. As she should. You hate to see things like that. Some fans have no boundaries. Try to keep your hands to yourself in the future, you horny bastard. Number 9. Fan joins the Shield. At Night of Champions 2015, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose were set to face the Wyatt family with a mystery partner, who turned out to be Chris Jericho. However, before Jericho made his return, a fan casually entered the ring with a vest similar to the Shield members in an attempt to become their third man. 
He was quickly smuggled out of the ring by security as the camera cut away, and Bray Wyatt asked them, Is that your guy? Reigns and Ambrose were confused, not even realizing the fan had got through the ropes, but at least the late Bray Wyatt seemed entertained. Number 8. Kid Wants a Moment of Bliss Fans at live events are always encouraged to express themselves, and they can cheer and boo whoever they want. However, every now and then, fan will cross a line by putting their hand on a wrestler. During a WWE live event, a young fan decided to slap Alexa Bliss's backside as Nia Jax carried her backstage. The clip went viral on social media at the time. Later, Alexa Bliss was asked what her reaction was at the time. I asked Nia because she was carrying me over her shoulder, and I was like, is that you? And we laughed it off. It was a little kid. They do what they want. Well, when it happened, I asked Nia because she was carrying me over her shoulders. I was like, is that you? And she was like, no. And like, we just walked back and we were just like, we laughed it off. But it was still one of those, I was very shocked it happened. I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, is that you? And she was like, no. And Number seven, Triple H saves Linda McMahon. In an episode of Raw during the Attitude Era, Vince McMahon's wife Linda entered the arena as Triple H and Stephanie were in the ramp. All of a sudden, Hunter tackled the fan who had gotten onto the ramp to confront Linda. Following Hunter's tackle, security immediately intervened and took the guy out, as Linda stared for a moment before continuing. He certainly scored some points with his mother-in-law that night. It's all about the game, and how you play it. Number 6. HBK gets hit with a battery. It's no secret that Shawn Michaels was hard to deal with during his run as WWE Champion in the late 90s. You're fired. He took it like a man! He's a ah! Sweet chin music! The road to WrestleMania that year for Michaels was one that was riddled with pain and resentment. HBK was in a lot of pain after injuring his back at the 98 Royal Rumble, and he didn't take it lightly when a fan threw a battery on his head as he was cutting a promo on a live event. Michaels simply walked away from the venue after the incident, which didn't go well with the boss. Vince McMahon's motto is that the show must always go on, despite any unfavorable situations that might happen. But the showstopper decided the show was over. Number 5. Fan Attacks Raven it's always unsettling to see a fan get involved in the action and a wrestler getting jumped from behind. Raven was cutting a promo on WCW Thunder before this happened to him, as he was pulled by the hair out of a ring by a fan. Some combination of intoxication and stupidity inspired this guy to pull Raven by the hair and risk getting beat up by the ECW original. Raven was a total pro about it. He took a glance at the fan, resisted the urge to strike as security dealt with him, and continued with the promo as if nothing happened. It became a bit of a train wreck though, despite Raven's determination to get through the segment. After the attack when Raven started talking, the mic was cut out. Raven had the self-awareness to realize that the mic was cut to the crowd, but he kept talking thinking the viewers at home would be able to hear him, when in fact they couldn't. Eventually the mic came back on, and Raven was able to finish his promo. Number 4. Fan Low Blows Orton in 2013, a bizarre incident saw Randy Orton attacked by a fan in the ring while WWE was touring South Africa. That night, Orton was facing Big E. After he won the match, he climbed the top rope to strike his signature pose. Meanwhile, a fan jumped the barricade, entered the ring, and hit Randy with a low blow. Initially, Orton looked like he was selling, but once he took a look back and saw that his attacker was an unknown guy from the crowd, he got up and looked ready to beat him up. Security rushed to the ring and dragged the fan out. As a parting gift, Orton also flipped him off as he was escorted out of the arena. The fan was a wrestler on the South African independent circuit. After getting kicked in the head, the guy actually cut a promo backstage, took off his shirt, and said that he wanted Orton in a match. Apparently his plan was to get noticed by WWE. The only thing he managed to do was get himself arrested. Somebody once stole me. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Number 3. Bischoff on Nitro this fan chose a chaotic moment to jump into the action. Bischoff had just lured Larry's Bisco into an ambush by Conan and others. He certainly looks like he's going after Bischoff. Hey, maybe he just wanted to congratulate him for surpassing WWE in the ratings war. The fan's plan quickly goes south, and the NWO proceeded to stump him repeatedly. Man, sometimes I wonder what these guys were thinking. Number 2. NWO Again when Hulk Hogan turned heel and joined Kevin Nash and Scott Hall to form the NWO at WCW Bash of the Beach 96, it sent shockwaves through the wrestling world. While this part of the story is well documented, what often gets overlooked is what happened afterward. After Hogan revealed himself as a third member, one angry fan couldn't handle what he was witnessing, so he bypassed security and jumped into the ring to attack the Hulkster. Scott Hall talked about the segment and how angry fans were, saying, During the promo Hogan cut, people started throwing stuff in the ring, and when that fan entered, 
enter the ring. He probably thought security would stop him so he could tell his buddies he tried. Well, Kevin Nash took it easy on the guy, Scott Hall took a different approach. He starts kicking the guy like he owes him money. Once you come into the ring, we don't know if you got a gun or a knife. You can call what we do fake, but all I gotta do is turn the volume up a little bit and it gets real. So that dude in Daytona, thank you. It was fun stumping on your face. I hope you learned your lesson. Number 1. A fan hits Roman with a briefcase. During a house show in which Roman wrestled Bray Wyatt, some fans began chanting for a man in the crowd who had a replica Money in the Bank briefcase to throw it into the ring. Encouraged, the overzealous fan tossed the briefcase into the ring, hitting Roman in the back of the head. The match was temporarily interrupted, fans chanted kick him out, and the fan was ejected from the arena and also arrested. Reigns appeared to be stunned and frustrated following the attack, but he was able to finish the match with Wyatt. Fortunately, no one was hurt and no charges were laid after the fan apologized. And that's it for today's video. Please don't jump over the barricade at any wrestling event or harass any of the wrestlers. Out of everyone on the list, which of these crazy fans do you think took it the furthest? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more wrestling content. See you soon!